I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we will learn how to multiply and divide radicals. We have two examples here. Question is simplify 3 square root 6 times 2 square root 12 divided by square root of 27. The second one is 5 square root 6 whole square divided by 3 square root 2 times 8. Let's do the very first one. Whenever you multiply, we'll multiply these two first and then we'll divide. Well, order of operation, if we have multiplication and division, you have to move from left to right. Okay, so we'll multiply and then divide. This is very important to understand. So we get 3 times 2 as 6 and within the radical sign 6 times 12, which is 72, right? So that is what we get when we multiply these two. And then we have to divide by square root of 27. At times, we could also simplify and then do multiplication. Uh, 27 square root can be written as 3 square root 3, right? So let me show you how. Square root of 27 is equals to square root of 9 times 3, right? Now 9 is a perfect square which is 3 square, correct? 3 square times 3. So it could be written as 3 square root of 3, correct? We could have actually done the same thing for 12 also. Okay, so we'll write like this at present. When you divide, in that case, the coefficients are divided by the coefficients. So we have 6 divided by 3, which is, which is 2. And then we have 72 divided by 3, which is dividing this by 3, 3 times 2 is 6, and 12 gives us 4. We get 24, right? So, so that is what we get. Now, this 24 can be simplified. We could write this as 2 square root of 6 times 4, and then write down the answer as 4 is 2, right? So it is 2 times 2 square root of 6, or 4 square root of 6, correct? So that is the way in which it could be solved. Well, the other method could have been, which I think is a better method, to simplify this uh, in simpler forms. So the question could have been written as 3 square root of 6 times 12 is 4 times 3, right? So it is 8 square root of 3 divided by 3 square root 3, right? And then you could do the operations, get the result. Both will give you the same solution, correct? Both will give you the same solution. So I hope this helps. So try this one out on your own. Let's do the last one here, the second one, which is 5 square root of 6 whole square divided by 3 square root 2 times square root 8. So when you say whole square, that means 5 square is 25 and square of square root is the number itself which is 6 in this case divided by let's multiply these two so we have 3 square root of 8 times 2 16 so when you multiply the reticents get multiplied with the reticent coefficients get multiplied by the coefficient right so this is what you have we can simplify it so i'm not uh, Okay, we'll cancel the terms later. We could do it now also. This could be written as 1 times 2, okay? So let me write down this as 50 over square root of 16 is 4. Now we could divide 50 by 4 and write down the answer as 25 over 2 or 12 and a half, correct? So that is how we could actually simplify, write down our answer. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.